Oh man, I don't even know why I feel dancing right now. Yes, right. What's up? All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some huge, huge, huge gaming news to talk about in one epic video. But first, we got a couple of news items. First, give the video a huge thumbs up. We destroyed the thumbs up, the like button in the last video. 200 likes. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Do it right now. Let's get to the first news item oh my goodness xbox has just announced the delay of not one but two of their huge triple a games that were supposed to come out this year starfield and redfall have both been delayed by Microsoft. This is the official statement that I'm gonna share my thoughts. Oh, I have so much thoughts, so many thoughts. We made the decision to, this is from Bethesda, the official statement from Bethesda. We made the decision to delay the launches of Redfall and Starfield to the first half of 2023. I'm even saying, I don't think both of these games are coming out the first half of 2023. That's still cap Xbox. The teams of Ark and whatever. We want to thank everyone for their excitement, blah, 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 for the excitement for the games, whatnot. So they've officially said the games are going to be delayed to 2023. If you have an Xbox, what are you playing this holiday season? This is what I tweeted out on Twitter. Oh, I had fun on Twitter today. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. This is what I tweeted out. Bruh. It's beyond my comprehension how a console manufacturer two years in is still shooting blanks. Has it only been Forza this entire generation for Xbox? Halo was a dud. And then I said... Nintendo or Sony would never. And we're going to talk about Nintendo in a second. Honestly, Microsoft should just go third party and put their games everywhere. And that's really what they want to do. They want to put Game Pass everywhere. But Nintendo and PlayStation don't want no subscription service. Because Sony, <coughs> Sony have come out and said that having games on a subscription service, their first party games actually lowers the quality because they make more revenue selling them at full price and they can put more investment in the development team and put more resources in the game outside of a subscription service. Sony said if they go a subscription route, it would decrease the amount of resources they can put in a game. Maybe that's why these Xbox games have been so trash, bro. I don't know. But how in the world... Can you justify telling someone to go out and get an Xbox? <laughs> Ain't no games, bro. <laughs> Just imagine they're going to be three years in when these games drop. And even the Starfield. I still don't get why everybody's hyped about this game. But maybe it's just me. <laughs> but all they've shown was CGI of a spaceship on moon. No gameplay. How can you be hyped with no gameplay? Just the name. People are just hyped over this name. Not me, bro. Even Redfall, it was all CGI. We haven't seen any gameplay. Now, the CGI for Redfall at least looked dope. Starfield just looks boring. And I'm afraid I've been right so many other times. I'm afraid this game is not going to be what dudes think it's going to be. And I can see the rage 
on the internet in 2023 over this game. And so Xbox has come out. Starfield has been delayed. It's been delayed. And so all you got is Game Pass. Someone asks what exclusives are coming out in 2022 on Xbox. And I replied, Game Pass. Game Pass is, is the exclusive, <laughs> a subscription service. <sighs> Next news item. I found this article so interesting. This came from Digital Trends. And it says, um, Xbox's delays means 2022 is now the Nintendo Switch's year. And I have to almost say, it was already Nintendo Switch's year before um, this delay. But now it just makes it even more wide open for Nintendo and Sony to a certain extent to just have a field day. And the article listed all of the Nintendo Switch. Just imagine two years in and there was no Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles. Nintendo had so many exclusives. That's why you buy a console for exclusives. I don't know what Xbox is doing. And I don't know how anybody can support this foolishness. But this article listed all of the exclusives coming to the Switch in 2023. Nintendo has a dope lineup. Bro, Mario Strikers Battle League, which is the top of the list for me. Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, June 24th. Mario Strikers is June 10th. Live or Live, July 22nd. Now, the game looks cool, but I wouldn't put that as a wow, major exclusive. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Bro, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, when I was looking at, went back and watched the trailer in HD outside of the original stream, that game is looking crazy good. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, July 28th. Splatoon 3, September 9th. You already know we're going to be on Splatoon. Pokemon Scarlet Violet, Fall 2022. Bayonetta 3 to be announced, still coming in 2022. Even if two of these games at most get delayed anything they have pokemon pokemon is going to carry the switch no matter what so just the fact that pokemon is coming out a new generation of pokemon this fall that's going to be ins insane but even then they still have advanced wars reboot that was delayed that could come out at any time this year mario rabbit sparks of hope that's still in Nintendo's back pocket. And so Nintendo has exclusives. Sony alone just has God of War Ragnarok, bro. And so the exclusives, the games are there on the competing platforms. Xbox is just a hard, you just got hardware. That's what you got. That's what I'm saying. You might as well just go third party and put your games on someone else's hardware. Save yourself development, R, um, R, D, RNA, whatever it's called, development costs for consoles. I think that's if if I had to put my money on which manufacturer was gonna go is gonna go third party first, it would be Xbox. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty dope. Capcom, Capcom has had their um, quarterly investor briefing, and they have announced that multiple, and I quote, multiple major new titles will be they'll be releasing by March. 31st one game that baffles me is street fighter 5 I, I would have thought this game would be on the switch by now um because maybe they have a special i don't know what the deal was with um, um playstation because it was a playstation exclusive did come uh, also on pc but the game was on a ps4 i think street fighter 5 of course the resolution will be lowered you got to keep a fighting game at 60 frames per second but street fighter 5 could definitely definitely um, be ran on the switch with some compromises and Mortal Kombat 11 um, released on the switch and ran um, at a real good frame rate Street Fighter 5 could happen but if you're a Capcom fam fan multiple games will be coming to um, Capcom um, will be coming out by Capcom within the next year which is pretty dope also, the next news item, two more news items, and we have something interesting I want to watch at the end. Alan Wake. 
Alan Wake Remastered has been officially announced for the Nintendo Switch and will be coming later this year. Alan Wake Remastered is coming to the Switch later this year. I don't know anything about this game. I haven't. This game has never been on my on my radar. But a good AAA third-party game is always welcome. And Nintendo has given us a treat today. My most anticipated officially announced confirmed date, because Metro Prime 4 is still my most anticipated Switch game. For 2022, Mario Strikers Chargers. This game looks so lit. <laughs> Nintendo has released an overview trailer today. So this is what we're going to do. Let's react to it live. I'm going to turn off my um, background music. And let's watch, let's watch. This is my reaction. I've never seen this um, overview trailer yet. I think this did come out in uh, Japanese version, but this is the official US trailer. Just came out today. So let's check it out. Back to the beginning of this trailer. Let's watch it. Can't wait. This game looks so lit. <laughs> Mario and them cleats, boy. <laughs> but this game gonna be so lit. Hey. The only rule is to rule the field. I will be playing this game with the sponsors. So if you're a sponsor, there's three ways to join: Twitch, YouTube, and Patreon. The links are in the description. I'll put you on my friend list, and we're gonna be playing some Mario Strikers when this launches. All right, let's go. Introducing the latest sport taking the Mushroom Kingdom by storm. Mario Strikers. Mario Strikers Battle, Battle League. League. Let's get it. Strike is like soccer. If soccer had an electric fence, no rules, and intense 5v5 battles. 5v5 battles, soccer. Hey yeah. Sure, Ooh. you still dribble, pass, and shoot for the goal. But with no fouls, you can tackle, no fouls. Crash, and even <laughs> oh. stop your opponents oh. in their with Luigi items. be getting tried, though. Controls are simple, so get a team together and let the games begin. Let's go. But first, here are some battle-tested striker strategies. Let's go, some tips. A team that tackles together Bro, you together. can push your own teammate forward? Push a teammate for a team tackle that covers extra ground for defense or scoring. Whoa. You can boost. Get hands on oh, and push your so you can push them further. That's crazy. <laughs> you can give your teammates a boost. Another strat for star strikers. Hey, Bowser, cheating, bro. You can't strike. use your hand. First, get your gloves on a strike orb when it appears on the pitch. Just like a smash ball. Avoid your opponents until you can charge it up and let her rip while your opponents are Hyper distracted. Hyper strike. Luigi's, of course, the. Uh, each Backing. character's hyper strike has a different flourish and can okay, score lit, two points lit. by showing that net who's in. Ha, charge. I heart. Let's go. Get rough. Pull off hyper strikes and work together with your team to win. This game's gonna be fire, bro. All the Mario Striker games have been lit. They've always been lit. The gameplay, they just the nailed it. Ten each players. Each character having their own signature striker style. All right. Need a jack of all trades? Mario. Mario's your man. That's it. Want to punish with power? Power. Bowser's the bomb. All right. Need to score and shove with speed? That's Peach's speed prowess. Speed is speed. I always go the speed. The rules may be non-existent, but protection right. is paramount. Let's go. Luckily, some stat changes here gear. can be equipped on characters' heads, go. body, arms, and legs. Go. <coughs> Boost speed for superior dribbling. Okay. Up your strength to resist tackles. Ah, okay. Or up your shooting power for more scoring shooting. potential. Ah, okay. Combine characters and gear to create your superstar soccer squad. So Bowser, Donkey Kong, and, and Wario, they all cheat. They use their hands. A total of eight. Yes, eight players eight can online. shoot shot okay. on the same system. So they couldn't do all ten. using a single Joy-Con controller per player. Oh, eight players. Eight mo multiplayers, four v four. You and another brave contender can get together on the same system and show your no, striker no, synergy multiplayer. online. Show but they no do have mercy. online. No, this is online. Friends, family, or rivals near and far. Okay, two players on each team. Friendship can be forged amidst the flames of strike, strikers. Like in the clubs. online only strikers club mode. I will create a club, club for the OGC. Competes against others for rankings and promotions. Let's go. Up to twenty strikers can join a club. All right, let's get it. Create your own club or join an existing one. 
That's dope. I'm going to create a club. In Strikers Club, you and your fearsome friends play matches to accumulate points each season. Dope. These points determine your club's so ranking, seasons. so keep an eye on them. Okay. These matches can be played alongside others in your club, or you can strike solo or alone. for points. Dope. Your ranking at the end of each season determines which division season you'll compete in during the next season. Compete ruthlessly to earn points, get promoted, and become the top club. The the you season. can also get demoted, so the stakes are high. Dope, dope, dope. Club owners also get to manage members and customize uniforms. Best of dope. all, as club owner, you can give some flair to your lair by customizing the club dope. stadium with different. Hey, I want to play. I'm probably designs. play some Mario Tennis on my gaming channel will sometime smash tonight. together in Strikers Club matches to form a stadium full of flair. I haven't even really played golf either. Get gritty with Mario and friends in Strike, where Let's anything go. goes. Mario Strikers Battle League. Battle League. Available June 10th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Digital Nintendo Switch, I right, don't. Game's going to be lit. All right, dudes. That's it. And dudettes. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Xbox. Step a game up. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out peace